Hello and welcome to another episode of Taylor Talks Comics. This is our special segment called Hey Kids Comics, where we, where I take my eight-year-old son, mm -hmm. Riley, and we talk about comics that kids can enjoy. These are geared towards uh, parents and, and kids alike, um, and maybe you can find some cool comics that these kids would would enjoy because Riley enjoys them himself. He's handpicking all of these. Which one did you pick for us today? Pup Detectives. Pup Detectives. By, um, Felix Gumpa and Glasshouse Graphics. Yes, and this is a, is it, how many volumes are there? Eight, but we're only showing seven. Seven. Just like, um. Total Mayhem. Yeah, Total Mayhem, our next episode. Is that the next one? Yeah. Okay, so we have seven volumes to show off today of Pup Detectives. Uh, this is a mystery series that kids might enjoy, so let's flip the camera around and Put these under uh, the microscope, so to speak, and look at them in greater detail. So we're back. Um, again, this is the third episode of Hey Kids Comics. Well, quick disclaimer, um, this Hey Kids Comics is a new segment we're doing on Taylor Talks Comics. So if you're a parent or a kid watching, um, thank you for coming. But I do just want to add that if you are a kid or a parent looking for comics specifically for kids, make sure you look for the videos titled Hey Kids Comics. Any of my other videos I can't promise or guarantee will be appropriate for children. Um, so parent discussion advice there. But this is Pup Detectives, as I said in the intro. And Riley wants you to do a brief overview of what this book is about as I show them off. So if I can take this one. If you see these, that's Ryder Wolfson. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Rora, good dog. Westy Barker and Ziggy Fluff and stuff. Um, Who are these characters and... and What's the overall the whole series about? It's about those four characters all trying to solve mysteries about whatever <laughs> is wrong. and In their town or their school? Because yeah. they're, they're school age kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they try to figure these out. They most, most of the time they're at school. I'm pretty sure, yeah, most of the time. O only one, I think, and th there's eight. I want to say that. Yeah, this is an eight-volume series. We only have seven here. Um, Riley, I read the eighth one from the library. Yes. But we only have seven. And I will here. do a um, second um, story just about this eighth one, just so I can okay. show you. It's like a follow-up video. Yeah. That's cool. Um, But I want to tell you the only one... <laughs> That's not as cool as this one. Is it like a field trip to go on or anything related uh, to school? Yeah, actually, yes. So they're all school-related events. Yeah. Um, and all the characters are animals, so it's anthro so from... class trip ideas. It's anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. I can't say that word. The word just means that they're like animal characters that act like humans. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> the things I haven't, I didn't see, which I don't know why, because it's one of the biggest things on this cover is the shadow. Oh, yeah, the sh there's, like, cool imagery in the yeah. artwork. Which, really, wanted to really spotlight the artwork. Uh, why don't you flip through one of the volumes and just show, show some pages off. Because um, the artwork is done by, what was the name of the public, or the studio? Um, it's Glasshouse Graphics. Um, and... Some of them are, are titled or are credited to Walmir, Walmir Archanho, Archanho. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, um, but then a lot of times it says Glasshouse Graphics. So I think it's like a whole team, a whole studio that's doing them. And then Felix Gumpaw is the credited writer, which I think is a non de plume, which just means like a fake name for a writer, like when you use like a different name. Oh, and I wanted to say you, you cut off my my thing here. What? So uh, kids out there, if you're into old um, detective shows or whatnot. They're usually called gumshoe detectives. But Felix Gumpaw, since it's pup detectives, hmm. I think is like Yeah. A, um, 
kind of a joke there. Yeah, <laughs> but if you look here for a on this um, panel, look for it. Look at it for a minute. Well, look at the first one. He's holding the ice cream yeah. sundae, and then it explodes somehow, and it says, "Boom!" So it's a really cool lettering effect here, like in the artwork. Riley and I, <coughs> well, I'm a pretty big nerd with lettering and comic book artwork, so. Whenever I see it in comics that we're reading together before bedtime or whatnot, I'll point them out. And then Riley, when he's reading these, found a few examples of cool lettering And there's that the one more did. that I want to show you. I don't want to show you all of them, so I don't spoil it. But oh, here's another really cool lettering technique. So, uh... If you can see... Westy here? Is that his name? Yeah, Westy Barker. And he's, he's like the scientist, like the smart brainiac character. Yeah. And he has one of his invent inventions going awry here, it looks like. Yeah, and there's cool lettering if you can see it. I'll take a minute and you can just look at it. You're talking about the whoosh, right? No. Oh, okay. Help. Yeah, right it says here. help right there. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, so he's like the Brainiac inventor character. And then you I'm have give... Ziggy's your favorite. Yeah. Why don't you talk about well, Ziggy? He's a not bit? my favorite. Oh, but... he's the funniest. Yeah, he he's the funniest. He... Now, if I can. Ziggy's right here. Yeah, Z Ziggy Fluff and stuff, if I can. This guy right here, he's he loves eating. He never gets unhungry except in this one. This he one loses he says, his appetite. yeah. But um, <laughs> but normally rest, he's always hungry. Yeah, almost every single time he's hungry, and he doesn't really pay attention to the mystery at hand. Yeah, he just he's kind of like Shaggy and Scooby. Together. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Shaggy and Scooby Doo are always worried about eating. Yeah. And then um, not so good at and actually solving the mystery. Yeah, and he, well, actually, they solve it almost every time. Oh, by accident, though. Yes. <laughs> and, um. That's one comparison I, I had with this was that it seems a lot like Scooby Doo. Yeah. Um, it's like school age kids solving mysteries. Yeah. Maybe more like a, a pup named Scooby Doo. Have you watched that cartoon when they're like younger? But they're like really even young, like your age almost, like all the characters. No. You have to watch the series. It's really fun. But um, all their mysteries, though, yeah. are based on school stuff. Ryder Wolfson. Who may be the Fred character? Uh, yeah, I guess. And then that's, uh, who's the other, who's the girl? Um, not Velma, but the other one. Oh, someone leave it in the comments. I can't think of the character. There's Fred, Shaggy, Velma, Scooby, and I'm forgetting the other girl's name. Someone's going to correct us in the comments. Whenever you record these things, your brain goes blank sometimes. But that's who uh, yeah. Roar reminds me of. I don't know if there's really a Velma character. Maybe Velma would be more like Westy, since he's like the Brainiac. Yeah, and I And Velma's guess. the smart one. And then Ziggy's the other two. But they're, they... And also, the thing I loved about it is if you look at... There's a... What is it called? Magnifying glass? Yeah, magnifying glass. But in the second one, it's a different one. Oh, so they do a cool things with the artwork there, too. The third, well, that's the same one as one of them. Yeah, but that's because he, there's only four oh, okay. different kinds. So then it's the oh, fourth, then they repeat them. fifth, and then sixth. Really cool artwork and book designs, too, as a, yeah. uh, a parent and a comic book fan, art fan. All the, the first of all, the coverage are like an homage to the old EC comics, if you're fans of those. Yeah, it um, looks like it's beat up, it's not. Yeah, it's like a, aged and looks vintage um, around the cover, but these are brand new books. It, is, it was made to look that way, to look like an old pulp novel um, that you find at a used bookstore or what have you. So really cool um, book design and artwork and stuff in these. Uh, so from a parent's standpoint, that, there that's... There is a, 10 chapters in every single one. Okay. So from a parent, that's the thing that stood out to me the most was the artwork, um and book design and stuff like that. Uh, what age group would you recommend these for? Five to maybe 10. Okay, so. If, mostly if you just like mysteries and you're over five, I would say that you could read these. Yeah, depending on your reading level. Uh, yeah. Which parents, if you're watching, you'll you'll be able to judge your own um, kids' reading level and whatnot. Yeah. So maybe at five, they might need some help reading it or what have you. And um, at, uh, at age 10, it might be beneath the reading level, but you can always, it's always fun to read books yeah. even if they're below your reading level that's what we tell riley all the time he's he's a high reader himself but I still, he, reads, he reads plenty of books just for fun um that are, and i read with my dad every night yeah still. before bedtime too so um really really cool books a really cool series if you're into mysteries 
and we highly recommend it. It is published by Little Simon, which is the imprint of Simon and Schuster. And you can copy this thing. Oh yeah, so Riley wanted to mention this because Riley likes to uh, do his own artwork. And if you saw in the first episode, I think, or the second. Yeah, I think you mentioned it. Um, the first or second, I don't know. He likes to do his own artwork, so whenever he finds cool artwork in books, he likes to kind of mimic it or practice it was make the it first look like one, that style. Yeah. It was the first episode, if you've seen that. Um, so he's doing his own homage covers to yeah, these. Yeah, and the only things I've changed is the number one, two, it says it in all of them. And then the name Pup. And then Pup. And the bone. But the, and that's what I was talking about, EC Comics, their design was like the top third of the page that had the title. Yeah. And then the circle images for different characters or stories within the book. And then the big picture cover image. That's like And the, almost every time the bottom one is the culprit. I'm not saying all of the time, but usually. So that one's about the lunchtime bandit. This one's about the tiger's eye. Soccer Mystery, Ghost Goblins and Ninjas, Missing Magic Wand, Mystery Mountain Getaway, and Big Bad Wolf. And one more thing that we didn't mention was that uh, one thing I would like to ask or recommend too is, do you think any of these could be someone's first volume? Like, can you pick up, if a kid like oh. found these in the store, oh, could they pick yeah, up any yeah. volume? <laughs> so pick the first one, and then you can read any of the others. Because the first one kind of shows about the characters and a lot of the others but um this is a really fun series for me i if comment down below if you read more than four in a day i don't i've read four in a day i'm surprised well, oh it's so a pretty yeah. quick reads I yeah so read all these in about two days so Riley's recommendation is to try to find the first volume if you can, and then after that you can find any volume you want, because they're, they're, they can pretty much be anyone's first story. Um, let's show off the spines again. So if you like this video, like this content, and like the Hey Kids Comics segment, um, what should they do? They should like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're a parent, I think your kid would really like this story. Yeah, so comment down below if you have read this or if your kid's read this, what their thoughts were. Or if you're going to buy it based on a recommendation, let us know that too. And then Riley always likes to hear recommendations also from other kids and parents. So if and you're... if I do read it, I will try my best to um, give a shout out to you. And I'll help you out with that. Yeah. So if we have any comments where someone recommends a story or a comic that Riley has or hasn't read, uh, we'll give you a shout out on that video that we cover that book on. Um, so yeah, just look for more Hey Kids comics if you're into kids comics, if you're a kid or a parent yourself. And we'll bring Riley back uh, a second time this week. I think we're going to do two a week. Yeah. Um, we did one a week because we started in the middle of the week. Yeah, but, but we're going to try to finish now, out the whole summer two a week. Yeah. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah.